Practice test three. Listening. Section four. You will hear a lecturer in travel and tourism giving a talk about airline compensation. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen and answer questions 31 to 40. Good morning, everyone. This morning, I want to talk to you about a controversial issue in the travel industry, which is compensation. Specifically, compensation for flight tickets when planes are delayed or cancelled. A case has recently been brought to my attention of a flight by the budget company Bolt Airlines. There is a lot of data available about this particular case, Particularly because while the scenario was playing out, comments were being made about what was happening on social media by both passengers and airline staff alike. This case was of particular interest as there were a variety of problems that occurred. The initial problem was on the ground in the airport itself as a technical issue made it impossible for customers to check in. This caused a delay to the flight that lasted five hours. That flight then took off for its destination and landed safely, but then there were problems for the return flight of the same plane. After passengers had boarded the plane, a fault was discovered with the lighting, which required an engineer to be called out. The engineer failed to resolve the issue, and after more waiting, the chances of the plane departing were ended as the airport was closed until the following morning. Although the passengers may have been ready to fly, there are of course strict regulations about the amount of rest the crew need to have before flying, and this prevented the flight from being rescheduled early in the day. There were no staff free to replace the crew, because the whole incident took place during a public holiday, and all staff were already deployed. There was one further problem still to come. As the flight crew were being driven from their hotel to the airport, their vehicle became caught up in a road accident, which left two crew members in hospital. Eventually, the company chartered another plane to come and pick up the passengers, but by this time, their departure was 30 hours late. So, let's look at the rules of compensation in the travel industry. What inconvenience passengers are entitled to is dependent on the length of the delay up to a point, but the rules also take into account the flight distance. Generally speaking, however, the airline should at least provide food for passengers who have been waiting for over three hours. If flights are cancelled, passengers can be entitled to a good sum of money, but not if the circumstances are considered to be extraordinary or outside of the airline's control. A common example of this would be bad weather, for instance. Additionally, compensation is unlikely if enough notice is given for a cancellation. Although there are some sound regulations in place to protect passengers, my own research, and that of others, has found that people often start a claim for compensation but find the online system for doing so extremely complicated. This complexity leads many to give up, which is a real problem for travellers who are entitled to a fairer system. Now, how should these issues be addressed? Well, let's look at some of the... That is the end of section four.